All right, third grade, we're gonna do a little bit of science together. Um, we have finished our unit on landforms and natural disasters, mountains, plateaus, earthquakes. You guys did really, really well. It was awesome to see how much you learned from the beginning of the unit to the end of that unit. That was really cool. And I loved seeing that some of you even did the volcano experiment. That looked awesome. If you still don't, uh, haven't had time to do the volcano experiment, I left it on Google Classroom under the Just for Fun tab if you still wanna make your own volcano. Um, but we are gonna be moving on in our science class to the water cycle and learning about water on Earth. Um, next week, I will be uploading some textbook pages so that you can read in your textbook about the water cycle. The first lesson is just gonna be about where is water even found on Earth? Where is water even found on Earth, right? Can you tell someone next to you right now, where can we find water on Earth? And I'm gonna share my screen while you're doing that. Where can we find water on Earth? I have a uh, photo right here of the Earth that's from space. And if you notice how much blue there is on our planet, there is so much blue. The white parts are clouds, and then this green and yellow, that's South America, this is North America, Africa is over there, you can see a little bit of it, right? We talked about the continents in social studies and geography. These oceans here, this is the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean, the water on the Earth takes up three-fourths of the Earth's surface. Three-fourths, that's more than half, right? We've talked about fractions. Three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered with water. And water is very, very important for humans to live, right? So you've probably already uh, noticed and talked about with someone next to you, we can find water in the oceans. Where else can we find water? We can find water in lakes, in streams, in um, little tiny creeks, right? So um, one thing I wanna talk to you about is fresh water versus salt water. Fresh water does not have very much salt. Fresh water is where you can find um, some different fish like trout and I'm trying to think what up, I think salmon live in fresh water. Um, when you go to like a lake or a creek or a stream, that water doesn't have very much salt. It's pretty far away from the ocean. An ocean's water is very, very salty. If you've ever been to the beach and you've gotten ocean water in your mouth, like maybe you went to the beach in New Jersey or Florida, um, you actually taste the salt in the water. It tastes really salty. And there's certain kinds of fish and animals that live in salt water, like dolphins and starfish and clownfish, like Finding Nemo, that can only live in really salty water. Um, and that's different than fresh water. We're gonna learn more about that later. We're also gonna talk a little bit more about glaciers. And of course, we are going to talk about the water cycle um, and some of you have already drawn pictures of this for me. I love this example here from one of you. The water cycle, there's freezing and there's melting, there's evaporation when the water evaporates into the air, there's precipitation, which is rain. Can you say precipitation? I'm sure everyone in your family will be really impressed if the next time it rains, you say it's precipitating outside. Precipitating means raining. Um, precipitation can also be snow. There's runoff, water making these little streams going out into, this looks like a big lake or a big ocean, right? And we'll be talking more about the water cycle. I have another example of a water cycle here that someone submitted a few weeks ago. This one was really cool. You can see precipitation, evaporation, transpiration, condensation, all these really, really cool water cycle words that we are gonna learn more about. Okay, I'm really excited to start this unit with you guys. Um, this week, what I want you to focus on is watching the Brain Pop Junior video on the water cycle. I gave you a username and a password that's free that you can just type right in. When you click that link, it's gonna ask you to log in, type in the username BD Elizabeth and the password, and then um, you'll be able to play that video. And after you watch that video on the water cycle, you can either take the easy quiz or you can take the hard quiz, it's your choice. You choose, and you should take it a couple times until you get all the questions correct, because I know you can. Some of you will probably get it correct the first time. And there's also lots of other like fun games and activities on Brain Pop. If you want to click around, uh, feel free. 
Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing for science this week. And then next week, we'll start reading some of these textbook pages. Really excited to do this unit with you guys. I think it's going to be really fun. All right, see you later. Bye.